Hello! We are running some tests on new platinum alloys today and we're very lucky to have platinum expert Josh Helmich with us to take us through hardening platinum alloys through heat treatment. So let us go inside the experiment room and uh, take a peek of what's running in there. Let's go! Hey Josh! Hey, what's going on buddy? How are you? I'm doing excellent, how about yourself? <laughs> Very good, thank you. Wonderful. So I understand today we're doing research on hardening of platinum alloys through heat treatment. Can you take us through the logic of that a little bit? Oh yeah, not a problem Ty. So there has become a great need for better and harder platinum um, alloys within the marketplace. Yeah. And so by a multi-step approach between doing different alloy configurations and then adding a, a heat treatment process yeah. to the second aspect of it, it can give us a better platinum alloy that is much better for durability, wearability, and uh, better for the jewelers to work on. Because I understand that a harder platinum is actually very important for the market. Like for one, I hear that, you know, there's this myth that platinum is not hard enough to hold gems, which is completely not true if you do the platinum right. That's yeah. correct. Exactly. And then the other is I hear a lot of factories complaining about two wear, uh, uh, platinum being too gummy and soft and it uh, wears down the tools. Yeah. Um, what are other benefits of a harder platinum? Well, one of the things that's really taken shape in the marketplace, specifically I would say over the last five to eight years, is a lot of CNC machining. Mm -hmm. And so when you're running tooling at really high speeds, um, with some of the traditional platinum alloys, it's a little bit much more gummy. Yeah. and it tends to wear the tools much quicker. And also, um, the thin tools, it tends to break them off because they get, they get caught in there. So harder platinum alloy gives a great advantage um, when machining uh, because machining harder metals is actually easier than machining softer and gummier metals. Um, also within the production, it allows for thinner cross sections. So the people working on the, the CAD portion of the development can have thinner cross sections, it's going to be stronger, it's uh, going to be much quicker for finishing in the polishing department. And so all of those are huge benefits for the manufacturer because at the end of the day it's going to save time and, and literally save anguish for the, the workers trying to, they don't have to fix and repair so much, they can just continue to move through the process, and at the end of the day, you have a much, much better product. And that's a really huge deal for manufacturing. And I understand the heat treatment process that we're looking at today um, helps to vary the hardness of platinum alloy at different stages of production. And so you can kind of control the hardness through heat treatment. So how does that sort of work? Yeah, that's correct. So it's a great tool and so depending on the type of piece or production that's being run you can actually let's say if you had to fabricate something for a piece mm. um, and you need it to be softer in a certain stage you can actually anneal the platinum under really really high temperature which would give the jeweler the ability at that stage to be able to you know bend it mold it kind of frame it around something and then after that be able to put it through the heat treatment process, which then will make it much harder. So in the end, the jeweler gets the benefit still being able to work with the malleable platinum, but the end user gets the benefit of having the hardened platinum in the end, which helps with the wear and tear and the durability. And so it's great to be able to control it at different stages. Um, you know, okay. it's a little bit like magic to tell you the yeah, truth. Yeah, it does sound very magical yeah. and fantastic. Yep. Let us take a look at uh, what we're uh, researching on today. Definitely. Cool. First, we got to measure out the composition of the alloys to high accuracy. And for the purpose of testing, we're also using very pure elements. So here we have the standard testing sample. So what happens here now is uh, we got to anneal this. So annealing is basically uh, treating the metal to very, very high heat to hom homogenize um, the, the crystallization so that it returns to the softest state of the alloy.
How did the test turn out? We'll find out in the next episode.